Now in lesson 5-3 we determined that the ratio, a 10 to 5 ratio, was proportionate to 20 to 10 because we wrote these both as, as their, in their simplest terms and determined that they were equivalent. So we simplified 10 to 5 by dividing it by 5 over 5 and we got 2 1 and we came up with a 2 to 1 ratio and we also came up with a 2 to 1 ratio with a 20 by 10 and that's that's how we solved that in the first um, in the last lesson now into 5-4 they they're showing you a different procedure for this instead of simple another way to another procedure and both are fine to use is to use something called cross products meaning if you take cross products say if you take the numerator of one the first ratio or a fraction and times it by the denominator of the second and then take the denominator of the first and times it by the numerator of the second they should be equal so in other words 10 times 10 should be equal to 5 times 20 well 10 times 10 is 100 and 5 times 20 is also 100 so that tells us that 10 to 5 and 20 to 10 are proportionate they're proportional. Uh, okay, so let's look at another one. Let's say we had an unknown width uh, height here, or unknown measurement. And let's say we had a, a rectangle of a length of five and a height of six, and then this rectangle had a length of fifteen, and we wanted it to be proportionate to this this one here. What would our height be? Keeping these two shapes proportionate, or these two ratios. Uh, a proportion. So what we could do is multiply 15 times 6 and that's 90 and that should equal 5 times h. Once again I'm just taking numerator five t 15 times 6 is 90 5 times h is 5h. And now what we have to do here is um, simply divide each side by 5 the reciprocal the inverse of multiplication is division so to isolate this h i divide it by the 5 by 5 and i get 1h equals if i divide this side of the equal sign by 5 i also have to divide this side by 5 and 90 divided by 5 is 18 so this should, to make this proportionate, h needs to equal 18.